Hello everyone, my name is Felix Rodriguez with the CUNY Building Performance Lab and today I want to show you guys how to launch a DEN power meter using the eLog software to go ahead and install it on a three-phase uh, power system. First thing we want to go ahead and do is click on logger and what we wish to do is go ahead and create a new logger setup table. This setup window here is um, where essentially we do our setup to tell the logger on um, what type of system it is going to be installed on and the time interval it should log for. Um, here we have our setup table name. Here we can just say, uh, for example, lighting panel. And then here we have our data interval, which this, um, depending on how uh, small the sample we want to go ahead and do, we want to narrow it down smaller or how granular we want the data. Um, we could go as low as one second and as, as high as oh, a day or so. Typical common scenario is usually uh, 15 minutes for a data interval, especially for uh, any kind of electrical measurements. And then here we have our line frequency. Usually we have it at 60 hertz, but if anything, it can be placed on auto. And here we have our data logging. So here we tell the logger when to start and also when to stop. Um, it's checked off as immediately for right now, but if we wish to make it start at a future date, we can tell it to start at a future date as we can see here and it's just a matter of changing the date and time and also tell it to stop at a specific date so for us if we want just two weeks we can actually say okay start here and end in two weeks we're gonna leave it as as default and now here is our quick setup we have a uh, two choices for our three-phase system that we're going to install on. I'm just going to go through both so you can see how, how it looks. Let's go ahead and do the three-phase three wire and basically now what it's asking me is to uh, what type of current transformer um, my DEN power meter has and which is what I'm going to use to install. So if I click on view all right over here it gives me a window which basically a list of all the um, current transformers that are compatible with this DEM power meter and essentially if I have any of these model numbers I can place on the power meter and install for uh, data logging We're going to go ahead and select um, the row coil, which is the one that we have um, installed right now. And we press OK. This brings up our voltage references, or current transformer information, or recorded values, uh, which essentially will be the values that the data logger will record and we can download and, and have. Um, I wanted to show you real quick right over here where it says view typical setup. So when I click on this window it shows me a printout that I can actually or a schematic that I can actually print out where it shows me the lines where I would physically how to physically connect the power meter to the power system to the source um, so you can see how it gives you a nice um, schematic uh, and diagram of how you go from line one to you know, line one at the power source and line two line three and also how your ct should be placed and oriented and then in this case with the three phase three wire it's giving us the neutral going to the ground to ground it.
Let's press OK. And I just want to show you the difference between the three phase three wire and the three phase four wire. When I click on three phase four wire, and I'm just going to click on roll coil for now. And then I do view typical setup. You can see how it's essentially the same uh, in terms of the uh, loads and the lines. The only difference that it changes is that instead of the neutral going to the ground, it's going to neutral, in this case, to the neutral line. So this would be the typical um, setup that you essentially use for a, a lighting panel in, in this case. So we're going to press OK. We're going to stick with this one. And now what we want to go ahead and do, we want to go ahead and select the values that we're going to record. So for our volts, we have the selection of average, minimum, or maximum. So we typically go ahead and select average. And essentially what this does is it gives us the average value uh, during that 15 minute uh, data interval of basically our volts, amps, kilowatts, etc. So we, we basically want to go through this and just um, check them off, check off average, make sure everything is good to go. And basic, the one that I'm doing now is all or lines. So as you can see on the left is one, two, and three. These are one, two, three faces. These are our lines. And almost there. Let's see. And, and then you also want to do this bottom one. This bottom one, what it does is it's our three phase system total. So this totals and gives us the sum of all three lines of all of our three lines and the same average and there we go so right now we are set to launch this logger basically everything is set up checked off how we want it um, and then the last uh, step here is just clicking on send setup table to logger and it's going to ask us, okay, sending a new setup table, we'll erase the data and the logger into data. If there's data in the logger from previous project, it will be deleted and it will have a new fresh uh, set, setup table for it. So let's say yes, okay. And there we go. Our logger is now logging. And essentially, if this was connected to the electric panel already we can uh, actually confirm if it's recording so now just to confirm that the data logger is recording it's just a matter of going back to logger and in logger we have what is called display real-time values and then we can go ahead and click on show as text and now here, these will essentially be if this uh, power meter was connected to uh, an electric panel right now, it will give us our voltage, amps, kilowatts, and all the information here uh, as real time value. And you can see, you can confirm that it says logging is on, the logger is logging when it started, uh, the time, and the time interval here as every 15 minutes. All right, we have launched a dent power meter.